back with another baby corn unboxing. They have a subscription soap box every month. I do a video and I am a little late to this. I'm actually very late to this. This is the August box, but I figured I'd still go through it so you get a taste of the products that they offer. And as always, all links will be down below as well as all my previous ones because I've done quite a few. Let's just get started with this box. Generally, my favorite item tends to be the full-size one, but in this case, I really liked their hair mask. So this is the Green Tea Tox handcrafted conditioning hair mask. So even though I had a lot of hair, I personally didn't feel that I needed too much of it because it's very moisturizing as it is. Because it's very concentrated, so I feel like there were times where I just put too much, so you really do have to be careful. In any case, it is also warmly scented with vanilla bean and golden amber. So you so you just apply it to your ends up to your neckline, and then you leave it for five minutes. Either way, it's my favorite product, and I still have some left. Next item is the Overnight Oatmeal Handcrafted Body Wash. I don't use body washes often but you put this on the loofah you run it under water and it foams up pretty nicely gets the skin clean does its job and i like that it doesn't dry me out because i'm a very lazy person and sometimes i don't apply lotion as often as i should so this is the full size product and i have yet to try it but it is the avo cardio handcrafted bath bombs i generally like the bath bombs from this site if you're interested to see how it fuzzes and does all kinds of things they generally have demos on their instagram so this is meant to look like an avocado which i've never had in my life but it looks really cool i keep getting tongue-tied with some of these names but this is the i'm um, grapefruit for looking good handcrafted facial scrub <laughs> so the fragrance is blended in fresh pink grapefruit sweet valencia orange orange clementine and soft floral so you just wet your face and exfoliate and rinse it like a traditional face wash grapefruit is kind of an invigorating scent and it's not as exfoliating as i thought it would be um it's much more liquidy it does have granules in it you can definitely feel them but um i kind of expected something a little bit different however i still like it It has a soft light pink color to it and it got the job done in terms of cleaning your face my skin's been really really bad lately i think it's finally starting to clear up but there were moments there where I was just like, I'm eating so much junk food that my skin has just had enough. Next is the sugar scrub. This is 0 0.5 ounces and it is scented in juicy, fresh cantaloupe, green honeydew, and red sweet watermelon. I love the sugar scrubs. All you have to do is run them, preferably under warm water, and they kind of have that exfoliating texture and you just exfoliate your body like you normally would. Running it under warm water as opposed to cold water kind of helps it get into that scrubbing consistency a little bit more easily. I like these particular sugar scrubs because I think it's a little bit neater. They look like cute gumdrops, so that's a win right there. That was the August Baby Corn Soap Box. I will have more information down below as well as all the previous videos, as I said. So if you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. I am going to get back on track and schedules i ordered a ring light so i'm hoping you know that i'll be able to film more regardless of how the weather is outside so we'll see we'll see how that goes until next time bye guys